In today's video, I'm going to go over how to use the thin lens equation to calculate the image size, distance, orientation, and type for a concave mirror. And in this case, which we have example number two, the object distance is less than f, or the object is inside the focal point. All right, so here's our problem. We have an object that's 4.5 centimeters tall. It's placed 4 centimeters from a concave mirror, and the mirror has a focal length of 5 centimeters. And we're going to write everything down so we can get the image information. Now, I put down here that the focal point, the focal length, is plus 5 centimeters. Now, if this is important because it's a concave mirror, concave mirrors have positive focal lengths. And so we're going to write down plus 5 convex mirrors have negative focal lengths. And we'll do that one next. And we want to make sure we write down a negative in that case. But this one is positive. Object distance 4, object height 4.5. And of course, we want to know everything about the image. And I think it is a very good idea, before you begin, to get a quick sketch of the situation. And this is the situation. Now, I'm using Keynote, making this nice and neat. Normally, I just pick up my pen and pencil, make a quick sketch, not to scale, no rulers or anything like that. Put down F and 2F and put my object where it is approximately. This is not to scale. The focal length is 5. So I know this is 5 and this is 10. The image is 4. So here is the image distance located right there at 4. And I know when, and you know from your ray diagrams, that when the object is inside of F, the image is going to appear, you guessed it, on the other side or behind the mirror. So the image is going to be over here. And you know when you do the calculations, you better have a negative DI because that means it's behind or on the other side. You better have a positive, <clears throat> excuse me, you better have an image height that's more than 4.5 and it should be positive indicating that it has the same orientation as the object. And if you get those kinds of answers from your calculations, then you'll have a high degree of confidence that you have done the problem correctly. So let's go through and do the calculations, and then we'll check them at the end. OK, of course, we're going to start with our thin lens equation. 1 over f is 1 over di plus 1 over do, do over di. Excuse me. 1 over f is equal to 1 over do plus 1 over di. We want to solve for the di. So we're going to subtract 1 over do from both sides. Now we can plug our numbers in, simply 1 over f minus 1 over 4. And you can do that right on your calculator. If you're a regular scientific or graphing calculator, you can just put 1 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 4. And you will get that 1 over the di is equal to negative 0.05. Now that needs to be a negative number, which we'll talk about in a moment. But the most important thing is that this is not the di. This is 1 over the di. A lot of people will say, oh, I got the di. It's 0.05. No, that's 1 over. We need to take the reciprocal of both sides, the reciprocal of this side, the reciprocal of this side, and therefore we get the di is equal to 1 over negative 0.05. And then I just do on my calculator, I know people have a hard time with this sometimes, it's just 1 divided by 0.05. Okay, it's not 0.05 over 1. It's just 1 divided by 0.05, and that means negative, of course. You're going to get that the image distance is minus 20 centimeters, okay? That minus sign tells you that the image is on the other side of the mirror, and that we want it to be on the other side because we know when we're inside of F, the image is going to be on the other side. So we now have the image distance, minus 20 centimeters, and now we can get the image height. Okay? So we're going to use our first magnification equation, m equals negative di over do. Very important to put that negative in there m equals negative minus 20. Don't forget the minus sign divided by, of course, positive 4, which you were given. And that means that this minus and this minus, minus divided by a minus, is equal to 5. So that means that the magnification is plus 5. And the plus sign for the magnification, or the positive magnification, tells us that the orientation of the image is the same as the orientation of the object. And we know we wanted it to be like that, and that's the way it is. So that's good. <clears throat> now, we can use the other magnification equation, which is hi over ho. We want to solve for the image height. So now I put that the image height is equal to m, the magnification, times the object height. Plug my numbers in, my positive 5, and I get that the image height is 22. 0.5 centimeters, a positive number, once again telling us that it has the same orientation as the object, and it's bigger, and we want it to be bigger, so we feel very good about what we have done, and we feel good that we have the right answers. Now let's just go through and kind of 
fill that in and then go back and check from what we had at the very beginning, object inside of F, image behind, negative 20. Image right side up, positive image height. Image bigger, 22 as compared to four. So everything matches what we wanted it to be. So we feel good and confident. And I think if you follow those steps, go step by step, keep your negatives and your positives and think about what you're doing. Like I said, draw this diagram ahead of time. I think you will be successful. Thank you very much for watching. If you found that helpful, please leave me a comment in the comment section below or give me a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.